Okay, I'm finna get ready to show y'all how to connect on to a fast DNS server. Now, when I say fast DNS server, I mean as in when you're searching for something, it finds it immediately, instantly. Um, you don't really want to open up no page and it's just steady, rapidly taking all day for it to load up. So, once that ever happens, take forever for it to load up. That's caused by a lack of a poor signal coming from a DNS server. So, uh, what you're going to do is... Connect on to a better DNS server. That's what we're finna get ready to do. We're finna show you how to connect on to a fast and better DNS server. Now, your ISP providers, which is your internet service providers like MediaCon, Knowledge, AT&T, people like that, they automatically provide you with the DNS server. But the service that they provide you always suck. I mean, they ain't hitting on nothing. They always sorry. They always move slow for some reason. Now, I'm in Columbia, Georgia. So if you in Columbus, Georgia too, I recommend you use the server that I'm finna get ready to give you. So follow with me. Uh, first thing you're gonna do is go to your right bottom hand corner and look for your wireless logo or your local internet ethernet cable logo. It may be a monitor down here like a little screen. But anyways, you're gonna right click on it and hit open network sharing center. Once you open that up, you're gonna go to connections. You may see wireless network connection or you may see local network connection. Click on that and go to properties. You may get this um, message hit yes. And scroll down till you find internet protocol version 4 TCP IP4. Click that and hit properties. Okay, you may see something at the top says obtain an IP address automatically. Make sure that bubble is bubbled in. You may see um this this box this bubble right here maybe bubbled in. I mean mine wasn't because I already had mine set up, so I'm gonna just show you how to do it. Um, it should be bubbled in, um, but we're gonna bubble this one right here that says use the following DNS server addresses. Now, Google has a fast has a pretty fast um DNS server, but we're not gonna use Google because I'm in Columbus and um I'm gonna use Fort Benning. DNS server. Fort Bennett has the best DNS servers. So we're finna connect on to their server from wherever you at. I know their number. I know the um, DNS code. So um, what you need to type in is four, my bad, four, two, two, six for the preferred DNS server. Now for the alternate, alternate DNS server, you're gonna type in Four, two, 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 and you're gonna hit OK. Now, you may want to get a pen or a piece of paper and um document that down because um you you really want to remember those numbers just in case you really want to connect on with um Fort Benning's DNS server. I'm gonna give you all Fort Benning DNS server numbers, so you might want to write these down. Okay, um, let me just pick Fort B. Fort Benning DNS server number is 4222. Two, two. Four. And 4221. And 4225. Two, two, two. Two, two, now with these numbers, they're very, very useful. Um, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna give you a prime example of what I mean. I'm just gonna go back through this. Um, like I would tell you how to plug these numbers in right here. Now when you see the word preferred DNS server. Like when you're searching for something on the internet, it's gonna look at this server first. It's gonna go this server address first. Now, if this server address right here doesn't have what you're looking for, it's gonna bounce back to alternate DNS server and search and search for there. So basically, like when you when they search for it at your preferred DNS server, and it don't happen. They say, hey, let's go to the next DNS server. So this one they're gonna come here and search here and see, do they have what you're looking for? One of them gonna have it. But um this way you input these numbers at these numbers right here, you know what I'm saying? 4222, 4225, all these numbers, they go in here. So that's where you want to plug these numbers in at. So make sure you write these numbers down or whatever. 
And if you stay out of state in a different, you know what I'm saying, location, I prefer you to use Google DNS server. Google DNS server um, code is 88888 and 8844. Now, if you're out of state, you're going to plug these same numbers in right here. It don't matter which order you put them in. If you want to put 888 in last, like for the alternate, you can put it there. I mean, it doesn't matter. But um, that's that's Google um DNS servers, um, and that's basically it. That's all you have to do. Very simple. I mean, <laughs> it's it's not it's not hard to do. But the next step we're gonna do is come down here to your start menu and type in CMD. Oh my bad. Hold on. CMD. And when it comes up up here, right click on it and hit run as administrator. Now once this comes up, I want you to type in IP config. IP C O N F I G and hit enter. This is all your network configuration. This is very important stuff. Very important stuff. Now what we're gonna do is test the ping out. We can do a ping test from right here in command prompt. Now ping test is gonna let you know is what the server that I gave you is running pretty correctly. So we're gonna test the ping. So we're gonna type in P I N G space four dot two dot two dot two space the negative sign and pit a T hit enter now basically what we're looking at right now is response times when you see the, these times right here 77 ms I mean this is very good for response times you don't want your response time to be over a hundred or 200 500 that's how long it takes just for you know so that's how many seconds is actually being wasted open up these the web pages and right now this service is very 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 good right now it's, it's really it's booming right now I mean it's great do what you want do what you want but that's how you test out the ping now as you see my ping is steady calculate now if you get error messages saying time out time out time out instead of reply from the DNS server bytes time TTL. Um, if you just again time out, that means that server is bad. Switch to another one. I gave you the servers. I gave you all the server numbers. So the number that you're testing out, come up timing out, I mean it's bad. Pick another server number. But Fort Benning, that server is always good. I mean, I ain't never had a problem with Fort Benning DNS servers. I mean, it's always booming. But, um, that's it, man. That's all to it. I mean, you can let this get done if you want, but you ain't got to wait for it to get done because it could run all day. But um, you can close this out, and that's pretty much it. If you don't understand how I did that, which I basically gave you clear directions on, um, I feel bad for you because I ain't finna do it over. But um, <laughs> if you need help or something, man, just um, email me. I'll leave my email in the description. Yeah.